Hello, I'm Akash, a cloud architect here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to walk you through direct chain mode in AWS managed services and show how you can turn it on for an account using automated RFCs. Let's get started. AMS direct change mode or DCM extends AMS advanced change management by providing native AWS access to AMS Advanced Plus and Premium accounts to provision and update their AWS resources. With DCM, you can use the native AWS API in the console or the AWS command line interface or the AWS SDK or by using AMS Advanced Change Management request for change. Whichever method matches your use case, the resources and changes to them are fully supported by AMS, including monitoring, patching, backup, and incident response management. With DCM, you can perform instant deployment instead of submitting manual RFCs. The changes deployed using DCM are captured in AWS CloudTrail logs. Resources provisioned through DCM are registered in the AMS Service Knowledge Management System or SKMS. They are joined to the AMS Manage Active Directory domain when applicable and run AMS Management Agents. You can use existing tooling, for example, AWS CloudFormation, AWS SDK, and CDK to develop and deploy AMS Manage CloudFormation stacks. Let's see how to turn on direct change mode using an automated RFC. I'm already logged into the AMS console. Navigate to the RFC page by choosing RFCs, which is in the left navigation pane of the AMS console. Choose create RFC. Select the RFC change type by using choose by category to find the related CT for turning on DCM. Choose CSIO Management, Managed Account, Direct Change Mode, Enable, and then choose Create RFC. Enter a subject and description. You can also enter your email address so that you receive email notifications of the RFC status. Select the request schedule ASAP or scheduled RFC. Now you must select at least one of the parameters from the options SAML Identity Provider ARNs, IAM Entity ARNs, or AWS Service Principles. These are trusted by the roles created by DCM. Here I'm using SAML Identity Provider ARN. Verify that the required and optional fields are filled in correctly. For example, the SAML Identity Provider or IAM Identity that you provide must exist. Choose Run. When the RFC is successful and DCM is turned on for the account, you will see two new roles. Let's look at them in the console. Search for IAM in the services console bar. Select the IAM service. Choose roles and then search for AWS managed services, cloud formation admin role, and AWS managed services update role. Now open them in separate tabs. AWS Managed Services CloudFormation Admin role grants access to the CloudFormation console, creates and updates CloudFormation stacks, views drift reports, and creates and runs CloudFormation chain sets. We can see in the trust policy that it has the SAML provider that was provided in the RFC. Next is AWS Managed Services Update role. This role grants restricted access to downstream AWS service APIs. The role is deployed with managed policies that provide mutating and non-mutating 
API operations. But in general, restrict mutating operations such as create, delete, put against certain services such as AWS Identity and Access Management, AWS Key Management Service, Amazon Guard Duty, Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, AMS Infrastructure Resources and Configuration, and so forth. We can see in the trust policy that AWS Managed Services update role has the SAML provider that was provided in the RSC. You must now integrate these roles with your federation solution so that roles can be assumed. For more information on direct change mode, refer to the public AMS documentation for direct change mode. And now you know about direct change mode in AWS Managed Services and how you can turn it on for an account using an automated RFC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.